Hi, my name is Godfrey. I'm with Synaptics, and we're showing you a Lenovo U300S with a force pad retrofit demo. Now, in addition to being a great touchpad, uh, we've added the third degree of uh, third dimension of control and force. If we look at button activation, you can hear it clicking when we act, when we click it, when we select it. There are no moving parts to uh, the force pad, but with the auditory feedback, um, a person basically perceives that there is a button activation. What we found in our research studies is after 15 minutes, uh, people actually prefer the uh, uh, sound to go off. Now, if we look at the addition of force and what it can do for the interaction, um, Synaptics has developed some force-based gestures right into the OS that really make it uh, intuitive to use. So right out of the box, you can do things like scrolling. See, right now we're at the edge of the uh, scroll. I can vary the scroll speed by, uh, by changing the amount of force on it. So the faster I push, or the harder I push on it, the faster it'll scroll. The lighter I push, the slower it'll scroll. Which is instead of, I don't need to continue to do this, all I need to do is just scroll along this way. See, I'm using force. I don't need to slap my fingers around on the touchpad. Force pad, what we're able to do is detect five fingers and up to a thousand grams of pressure each at, fif at 15 gram intervals, so with six bits of resolution. So this is just one finger, we can vary the force, but what's really cool is it can detect two, varying force, three, four, and five. And what this really enables is that with that third dimension of control, uh, we can turn a binary device like a touchpad into almost an analog type of joystick. So the usage models we're just starting to get into today, uh, and we believe that there'll be a lot of great applications uh, for the force pad moving forward. Now, in a typical game, the touchpad is basically a binary device, and you need to go over as uh, soon as possible you know you need to do this to activate it but what we're doing here is we're just using force and you can really control a lot better how an airplane flies it becomes almost like an analog joystick uh, when you're doing it so the more pressure you apply the quicker it is the plane will react this is not the reverse yoke so that all the gamers are used to again if you pr apply a little pressure it's just uh, steering very slowly. You apply a lot more pressure and it'll steer a lot more aggressively. And again, we go the other way. It'll just zero itself. We just nice and light. And then when you press heavy, 